News. Speed and accuracy are always in demand in news workflows. It is very important to be able to quickly and reliably send footage and other relevant information from the field to be prepared for broadcast. To help with this, Panasonic provides the AVC Ultra line of cameras, equipped with functions to support modern networked workflows. In 2015, Panasonic will launch P2Cast, a new network service that will raise news production to a new level. AVC Ultra cameras feature long GOP compression, enabling low bitrate recording while maintaining broadcast level quality. Recording of low bitrate proxy video at the same time as the full quality video is also made possible with AVC Ultra. AVC Ultra cameras feature three ways to access networks. One, LAN cable. Two, Wi-Fi. Three, 4G LTE USB modem. While in the field, cameras can connect directly to a network and quickly transfer footage to where it is needed. This function allows broadcasters to immediately deliver the breaking news to viewers. Panasonic is committed to continuing to provide cameras featuring a variety of network connectivity options and strong AVC Ultra compression technology. If you hear the word live, you might imagine streaming. But for many, streaming is synonymous with unreliable video that is prone to being dropped. AVC Ultra cameras feature Panasonic's original dynamic adaptive QoS technology, which adjusts bitrate, frame rate, and other settings to best match the current network conditions. This technology allows for highly reliable streaming video without drops, while also being very cost effective, as all that is needed is a 4G LTE module. The streaming QoS video can be received using dedicated hardware or by using free computer software. With optimal network conditions, latency can be as low as one second. Using this QoS streaming will greatly reduce the total cost of ownership for users, as the only costs are for the USB modem and network access. Live streaming is not always necessary, so AVC Ultra cameras also feature other options for reliable file transmission. A key example is the automatic uploading of proxy files. This feature functions well even when shooting longer events such as speeches. A near live file upload feature will be added in a firmware upgrade. With this function turned on, clips will be automatically split and uploaded every two minutes. Long clips will be split into smaller clips for more rapid uploading, so that the editor at the station can begin work as soon as possible. It is also possible to begin recording during upload. Without needing to worry about uploading files, the camera operator can focus on getting the needed shots. These are standard functions of AVC Ultra camcorders. P2 Cast. In 2015, Panasonic will launch a subscription based cloud service for broadcasters called P2 Cast. Combining AVC Ultra cameras and cloud technology creates an ultra efficient workflow for news. The first function is immediate footage sharing. Uploaded proxy video can be viewed on cloud apps so that news directors, editors, and other relevant staff can immediately check and share footage. In addition, 
proxy video can also be downloaded to a local computer so that it can be used directly for broadcast when good enough quality is considered suitable. The second function is highlight editing. At the station, news directors or editors can view proxy videos and create an EDL. The EDL is then automatically sent to the server. The camera receives the EDL automatically via the server. The clips in the EDL are automatically conformed to the high quality clips in the camera. Only the high bitrate version of the parts of video included in the EDL will be transferred to the station. The autoconform process takes place entirely in the background, so camera operators can concentrate fully on continuing to shoot footage. The third function is metadata management. Metadata created in the station is automatically input to the camera via the cloud, allowing for more effective use of metadata in news workflows. Ability to access the footage can be specifically set so that security can be maintained while using an efficient workflow. The servers are located in the US and Europe. Panasonic will be launching the service first in the US and Europe with other regions to follow soon. By integrating cameras and cloud servers, Panasonic will provide a rapid and reliable news gathering system. Panasonic plans to add functionality to the cloud service to improve usability. One possible example would be to automate transcripts and grab by metadata through the use of voice recognition. Another possibility would be automatically indexing clips using tools such as facial recognition to make them easier to find in the future. Panasonic is currently evaluating a variety of automatic functions to determine which would be valuable to a news workflow. Variety in delivery methods has increased greatly in recent years with the growth of IPTV and online and mobile video and streaming in addition to traditional broadcasting methods. The challenge for news providers is to devise a workflow that will allow them to constantly deliver accurate news to viewers as rapidly as possible to the platform of their choice. Panasonic looks forward to building a new generation of news workflows with broadcasters around the world. Broadcasters, any problems or worries that you have about current and future workflows, please let us know and allow Panasonic to help design an efficient solution.